So today I'm going to talk about the Instant Pot Pro which I purchased just over a year ago now. And I wanted to give you my honest opinion on the things I liked and disliked. So you can have a good overview and make up your own mind whether it's worth purchasing for yourself. So I purchased the 6 quart size which is more than enough for me and my wife. If you've got a family, probably go for the 8 quart. And also I think it's worth mentioning that I've never owned any Instant Pots before, not even the older version the Instant Pot Duo and so this is purely my opinion on one of the new models Instant Pot Pro as a first time user. So let's start with everything I like about the Instant Pot Pro. So with this new model they've designed it with the inner pot to include the handles on either side so it's easier to take out. I can't imagine having the older version without this feature because it's been super convenient to move around the inner pot and placing it within the actual Instant Pot. From a design perspective, I think it's a great move and it just made using it a lot easier and safer in terms of not getting burnt. And I guess it's just more convenient because you don't have to get like a tea towel to take the pot out. You can just grab it with your hands and you'll be fine. So the next thing I'm aware of that they've changed is I think it's the cover that goes over the little steamer on top. I think they've designed it so it's a lot more safer and I believe with the older model it was easy to get burnt when, when you're having to switch the vent open and closed. But automatically when you close the lid on this model the vent closes. I'm not sure if that was the case for the previous model but I know the plastic cover that they've got around the vent is a safety feature that they've included as part of this new model. And I can safely reassure you that I've never been burnt, so that's a good thing. Another really nice feature that they've added to this new model are the slots that they've placed on either side, the left and the right at the back. So when you open the lid, I guess people must have found it a nuisance of where to put the lid while you're sauteing or when your cooking is complete. So as an afterthought, they must have designed the two slots at the back so you can actually rest your lid on either the left or the right side. And I find it super, super convenient because because I've got quite a small kitchen and I haven't got that much surface area. So it works perfectly to just to slot it in on the side so it's completely out the way. Another feature is I love that you can set favorites. So sometimes I tend to steam potatoes, for example, because there's various different kind of settings that it depends. The timing actually depends on the size of the potato and whether you've cut them up into cubes. Because I do it in a certain way, I can set the specific time and heat level and save it to my favorites. So whenever I start afresh and I put the potatoes in, I can just I can select the favorite button and then just start and you're good to go. So it's super convenient, super quick. The next thing I like about the Instapot Pro was Another reason why I chose this one over the older model was purely because I've read that it heats up faster, a certain percentage faster than the older model. And in my books, if you can save time, then I think it's worth paying for. Because that's partly the point of having an instant pot, is to save yourself some time. And just so you know, when you see these recipes online where it says it takes a certain number of minutes to cook, they don't take into account the 10 minutes it takes to heat the pot up in the first place to get it to the desired temperature and then it's the cooking time that's stated on the website. In some instances you let the steam naturally release which takes another 10 minutes or some recipes just state that you can release it instantly and just open the lid. I also really like the aesthetic. You can tell it's just much more modernized than the older model. This one's all black, it's got a fantastic screen, clear screen and you can tell the whole thing's been redesigned based on the way it looks. I think it's a huge improvement. And you could tell the older models were looking a little dated. So using your Instant Pot in general, compared to like cooking on the hob, it's so much easier to clean up because the inner pot's made out of steel. You've just got the one pot and it's a reasonable size. You can make enough for your entire family and there's just less washing up. And the lid is easier than it looks to clean. The underneath you have to clean and just the vent area. Some recipes when you're not using an Instapot, it may involve using two to three pots. This is a more effective way and which just involves a hell of a lot less cleaning. The next thing I like to mention is the fact that 
it actually gets you excited about making recipes. Because there's so many recipes online, they've also got an Instant Pot recipe app uh, where you can find plenty of recipes on there. And I personally use Vegan Reach's Instant Pot cookbook. And the instructions are so easy to follow that it just makes it a breeze and it opens more opportunity to try different cuisines and different foods that you haven't tried before. I don't know, it's just encouraged me to, to cook a lot more. So when it comes to all the different presets, I typically use the pressure cook, the rice and the saute preset. But there's also presets for steam, slow cook, sous vide, I don't know if I'm saying that right, yogurt and bake. And that'd be pretty exciting to try baking one day. I've never thought about baking anything in the pot, but it kind of encourages you to try it because it's super easy and quick to use. You can also buy accessories like different steam baskets to go in there if you want to separate some like vegetables. But out the box, you do get a basic steam tray for things like potatoes. So now I'd like to talk about the things I dislike about the Instant Pot Pro. And to be honest, there isn't much to mention. But the first thing I'd like to say is sometimes, on some occasions, my recipes have got burnt just near the bottom. And it's probably down to the fact that I didn't follow the recipes correctly. Because there's no physical element of mixing while it's cooking, you have to either layer it a certain way or add enough water, especially when there's like thicker sauces, which you may have to include later in the recipe. There's certain instructions that you have to follow to prevent any kind of burning. And the problem is the Instant Pot only warns you when it's at a critical level. The cooking status doesn't progress and then you're wondering why hasn't it got to the cooking stage after the warm-up phase. Fortunately though you can, once you open it up, like it literally is the thinnest bottom layer and just all the rest of the food is still cooked and salvageable as long as you've left it there for some time. But that's the thing, the point is you want to leave things in the Instant Pot and just let it cook and walk away. But there's just had a very small number of times that it has burned and, and I've had to like saute it for a bit longer um, to make sure it's fully cooked down. But on the most part, like all the recipes have gone great. So this is only a very, very small number of times it's happened. So one other thing I dislike about the Instant Pot Pro the alert sounds, the beeping is pretty loud and it can be a bit annoying. It's whenever the cooking status is progressing or whenever it's finished, it, it's quite a loud audible beep and it can be a bit annoying at times. I don't know whether there's a way of reducing the volume but I presume it's there as a safety measure so it alerts you to actually pay attention to it when it's ready. It's not the worst thing in the world but I am nitpicking here because there isn't much to dislike. I'm sure you can tell but I absolutely love the Instant Pot Pro. It's actually encouraged me to cook a hell of a lot more than I ever used to, to try different cuisines and almost every time like the recipe has turned out perfect. So I've been pretty impressed like you don't even have to be good at cooking to be good at using an Instant Pot. It's super easy to clean and the cooking time compared to cooking on the hob like it's, it's definitely quicker probably cuts your cooking time down by half if not more. And when I have explored new recipes, I've made like Mexican, Indian, Italian, risottos and pastas, or just simply like steaming vegetables. And like I said earlier, I am excited to try the other presets, especially the bake setting. I had a few people mention that they loved using the Instant Pot and I never really got the hype until I bought one myself and I completely get it now and it's just it's just been such a time saver and it's just brought more excitement back in cooking. I did put it off for a very long time but I'm so glad that I made the purchase over a year ago. You can't really go wrong with any model. I mean even the less expensive duo model is completely fine. It'll still do the same job because I think this Instant Pot Pro may be double the price i'm not too sure maybe the price has gone down recently because it has been over a year now but i believe with all the little improvements they've made over the previous model i think it's worth purchasing the pro model so i hope you find this video helpful if you've got any other questions about the instant pot pro please leave a comment i'll be happy to answer them and i'll hopefully see you in the next one